Today we're going to talk about X-linked dominant traits. But before we do that, let's take a look at this particular pedigree. A square is going to denote a male, and a circle is going to denote a female. These two parents had two kids. If we follow the line down, here's the two kids, a male and a female. Each one has a partner and had more kids. Wherever there is a shaded figure, that means the individual is affected. They have the trait of interest. All unshaded individuals do not have the trait of interest. They are unaffected. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and label the generations. The top generation being the oldest. So generation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which I've labeled for you in Roman numerals. And then let's go ahead and label each individual with Arabic numerals. 1, 2, and then we start over, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. If I wanted to refer to this individual right here, I would denote them with an Roman numeral 5, Arabic numeral 7. So I would write 5 dash 7. In this individual, 5 dash 6, 5 dash 5, 5 dash 4, and so on. Once we've labeled everything, let's go ahead and figure out what's the mode of transmission here. And if you remember the flow diagram, we're going to figure out whether it's dominant or recessive. So let's go ahead and do that. Do all affected individuals have an affected parent? Yes. This person, parents aren't shown here, so really no help there. This individual, an affected parent, yes, 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 uh, yes, and yes, and yes. So all affected individuals do have at least one affected parent, so we're going to go with dominant. Now once we figured out it's dominant, then we got to go through the rest of the criteria to figure out, is it X-linked? or is it autosomal? So, the first criterion was all affected males must have an affected mother. So let's take a look. Here's an affected male. Yes, they have an affected mother. Here's an affected male. Yes, they have an affected mother. Here's an affected male. Yes, they have an affected mother. So that criterion is true. Let's go on to the next one. All affected fathers have affected daughters. So here's an affected father. Yes, yes. Now remember, this is not his daughter. She simply married into the family. Right, here's another father. All daughters are affected. So why is that? Well, remember, dad only has one X chromosome. And if it's affected, then when he has a daughter, he's going to pass that affected chromosome onto his daughter. So every single daughter is going to have that particular trait. Also, all affected fathers have no affected sons. Because remember, dad is going to pass his Y chromosome on to his sons, not his affected X. So let's take a look here. Here's a father, but he's got no sons. Here's a father, and his sons are unaffected. Again, because he's going to pass the Y chromosome on to the sons, not the X that he passes on to his daughters. And up here, dad's affected, and the son is affected too, but remember, all affected, uh, all affected uh, males are going to have an affected mother. Right? And all, so that's why the male is affected here because mom's affected and she gave him an affected chromosome. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with X-linked here. If we found an exception, we would have to go with autosomal, but not really any exceptions, so we're going to go with X-linked. Let's go ahead and write that down. This is X-linked dominant. Now, because it's X-linked, meaning this trait is found on the X chromosome, and males only have one X chromosome, what I'm going to do for the second letter with males is I'm going to put a Y. So wherever there's a male, I'm going to put a Y is the second letter. You could just leave it blank. I don't like to do that because then I forget, did I totally figure out what that male had or didn't I? 
So by having a second letter there, I know I've handled that second letter. So wherever there's a male, the second letter is going to be a Y. Whoops, that's not a male. There we go. Y, Y, Y. Y, 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 and Y. So the second letter is a Y for all males, only when it's X-linked. Now the next thing I want to do is this is a dominant condition. So that means all affected individuals must have at least one capital A. Because if they didn't have at least one capital A, they wouldn't be affected. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. All affected individuals are going to have at least one capital A. So there we go. There we go. All affected individuals are going to have a capital A. And then all unaffected individuals are going to have two lowercase a's if they're a female, one lowercase a if they're a male. So lowercase, 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 lowercase. Remember, males only have one lower, they only have one X chromosome, so one lowercase a. Lowercase, lowercase, one lowercase a, one lowercase a. Lowercase, lowercase. Lowercase, 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 lowercase. Two lowercase a because it's a female. Lowercase, lowercase. Now, that's the given information. Should have been able to figure that out relatively easily and quickly. Now comes the detective work. What's the second letter here? What's the second letter here? What's the second letter here? And so on. Doesn't matter where you begin, just begin somewhere. So let's see here. Uh, we'll start here. We have three females here. And let's take a look at the parents. Here's dad. These are females, right? So dad can only give a capital A to his daughters. He can't give a Y because if he did, they wouldn't be his daughters. They'd be his sons. But Let's go ahead and take a look over here. If all these A's came from Dad, then let's take a look at Mom. Mom's got two lowercase A's. She can only give what she has. She's got two lowercase A's, so she has to give a lowercase A. So lowercase A, lowercase A, lowercase A. Let's take a look at this individual over here. It's a daughter. Now, here's Dad. Dad can't give this Y to his daughter, so he has to give this lowercase a. What about his other daughter? Same thing applies here. He cannot give this Y to his daughter, so he must have gave this lowercase a. Let's take a look up here. So here's mom. Here's son. Dad had to give this capital Y to his son. That means this lowercase a must have come from mom. So let's go ahead and check. Let's do these two individuals now. Let's take a look at them. Now again, look at dad. Here's dad up here. Dad can't give a Y to his daughters. He had to give the capital A. Mom's got two lowercase a's. She has to give one of those lowercase a's to his daughter. So both daughters, in this case, are going to have a lowercase a that came from mom. Dun, 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 dun. This individual here, let's take a look. We can either look at the kids or we can look at the parents. Look at the daughter here. She's got two lowercase a's. One of these lowercase a's had to come from dad, and the other one has to come from mom. Now let's take a look at this individual up here. She's got three kids. One, two, 
3. But look at mom up here. Mom's got two lowercase a's. And mom has to give one of these lowercase a's to her daughter. So that's going to be a lowercase a. The last one here is this affected female. Let's see. These are her parents. These are her kids. Let's take a look at the kids. Now, here's her son. The Y had to come from dad, because that's all dad can give his son is a Y. That means this lowercase a had to have come from mom. So we'll fill her in with a lowercase a. And let's do a quick check here to make sure that we have two genes for every single individual. Two, 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 two. Everybody's got two. Just a final check. And that's going to be it for X-linked dominant.